Hi, I'm Jay Sonic. I'm an expert on Japanese culture. Hey, I am Master Beat and I give good extra service. They call me Sugar Rains and I am from the province of Quezon. I'm Just Tony, president of the Maria Ozawa Fans Club. Hi, I'm Daddy Max. I'm the brother of Jao <laughs> All right, what's up? We're hanging out with Pedicab and they have a brand new album out. That all of you come from other bands, a super group of some sort. How do you guys come together? Well, we've known each other for years because our other bands uh, used to dig a lot. In 2004, we were Mike about putting something together and then Raymond and R.A. were thinking about putting something together. We sort of merged it and we wrote the music to 10 songs and then we gave the CD to Jago to put lyrics on. How do you guys come out with this? Come up with a sound. The influences muna nung gusong boy ni Jason Chani Mike that uh, parang Franz Ferdinand uh, strokes type na yun. So parang yun yung na gusto rin ni Raymond mga uh, Depeche Mode na may mga 80s influences nyo. Tapos um, yun, nung nangyari na parang hindi na punta doon eh. Parang naging parang 80s na Juan de la Cruz eh. Parang ganun yata. Or na basta ang iba na dun sa unang concept. So I think yun yung pen Alright, okay, so what are you guys working on now? And what what is in the works for Pedicab? Um, the like, conceptualize kami ng next video, pero wala pa yung budget, so di pa nagalam kung ano 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 and finally, let's close out this interview by completing the sentence. Pedicab is? Mabalahibo, lethal. It's dangerous. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. I see.
check it out. It's a new and improved Dylan. Do get used to what you're seeing right now because this is going to be me from now on. I think my makeover is done. Eh, eh, eh. Still have a long way to go. In fact, right now, we're going to be talking to the managing director of Frazzle Dazzle Salon. Give it up, everybody, for Miss Sheena Chua. Hello. Hello. I'd like to say thank you, first of all, for making me look razzle dazzling. You look great, too. Yeah, you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay, so uh, how's it like managing Razzle Dazzle? Very fun because I get to meet people, new kinds of people every day. And then I see like people come in and get out of the salon looking very fabulous, very beautiful. What is Razzle Dazzle's secret? I don't know, we just try to pamper our clients and then um, make them look good and beautiful because um, we're actually known for um, giving best hair colors that would brighten your face and you know, just make, make the clients look beautiful. So uh, if you could d describe Razzle Dazzle in three words, what would it be? So one is stylish, glamorous, and trendy. Yeah, I love how they make you feel like this is special and you're number one. <laughs> I feel beautiful. I feel like a real woman, a queen. It's great. You know what? Everybody, everybody deserves to feel like a queen or if you're a man, a king. You know, I gotta be pampered once in a while. You gotta feel really special. That's number one. Reason number two, it's a great way to pick you up after a stressful week, you know what I mean? You feel feel so much lighter afterwards. And number three, because it's razzle dazzling. Well, there you have it, another spectacular episode of The Peep Show. This has been Dylan saying thanks for watching and do check out our website, we're at jacktv.com.ph. If you have anything you want to tell us, go ahead, send us an email over at peepshow underscore 07 at yahoo.com. Dot PH. Thanks so much once again, the wonderful, wonderful people of Razzle Dazzle. I'm saying peace out, when and I'm like proud.